Hi guys, this is an update on my ficus tuniki. Well, this is actually the part one for this particular plant. This was split up from my um, ficus tuniki one, I believe. Um, so this is the part one and this is tuniki seven. I know I have actually a total of like eight different tuniki plants now. And um, so I will provide, you know, how I care for this one now versus you know, being cooped up with a few other plants together. Um, if you are unaware, uh, ficus elastica or anything like rubber tree, rubber plant like a ficus, um, their sap can be toxic and an allergen to anybody who is allergic to latex. Any product that um, is used with, uh, like any product that we use that has rubber or latex or anything similar to that it comes from this plant not this particular plant but um they use rubber trees to produce that so anyway this is a ficus elastica variegata and the variegation is tuniki the tuniki is a cream or white colored variegation um and this is how a leaf would can look like um when i first got this particular plant this is an older leaf and this is more, I think this is one of the older leaves too because it is, it has burned. So the, she sits in front of an east facing window and that is why her variegations have gotten deeper. Um, I do not, this is probably like one of the old ones like that. I do not recommend putting this next to a west facing window. She will burn due to the intense, uh, the west facing window because it's an afternoon light. Um, and due to the midday sun, um, because in the beginning of the west facing wind, um, west direction or west facing windows or west light is it has like that midday sun and, um, that can scorch the leaves. If you only have west facing windows there, it, she needs to be further away from a window. I would say like, I would say try six to 10 feet away. Um, she's not going to get a ton of light. So if you will do that and whatever, how far away it is from that window I and you want more variegation, then you'll probably have to supplement with a plant light, plant bulb, any of that sort. Uh, for me, she's there. For me, the Taniki variegation um, definitely thrives in the east facing window. I have all of them all on east facing windows. So I don't really know what's going to happen five years down the line when they're huge. Um, but anyway, that's how I care for them. And this particular plant is being watered between 10 to 14 days. Uh, she is in a regular potting soil mix. Um, I will try to link everything down below what I'm using. And every single time I do water, everything will be linked down below as well. Um, very easy to care for. I don't do anything else other than water and, uh, turn 90 degrees every single time I do water. I water when the top, I would say top layer and as deep as maybe a sixteenth of an inch to one eighth of an inch is dry. Um, dry in which, like this is obviously not ready to be watered, but if it sticks like that, then that means that this, she can't be watered yet. It's still too moist for her and you are going to overwater and drown her. Um, I love ficus and ficus elasticus. To me, they're very easy to care for. Um, they can be a little bit unfor, uh, they can be a little bit forgiving. So for example, they need to be watered, let's just say today and you didn't water them in two days. They're fine. Um, I wouldn't really recommend not watering them, you know, if in case they needed to be watered, let's say day one, and you didn't water them till day 10, I think that would be extreme. She would definitely complain. But it takes a while. It's definitely an easier plant versus like a fiddle leaf fig. Fiddle leaf figs definitely are more high maintenance. This is definitely not. Um, that's why I have so many of them. Stemming, I started with two. And um, initially I started with one and I only wanted one. Just so you know, I also didn't like the look of it in the very beginning, especially in pictures. But in person, it is just beautiful. It, it, I don't know what it is. In the pictures, they look so gross to me. But in person, it is just so beautiful. So essentially, like, she can even survive even a foot or two away from an east-facing window. 
Um, and the reason that I say that is when they turn pink like this, and they will turn white at, uh, at a certain point, it means that she's trying to say that she is getting a ton more light than she needs. But um, I don't really mind. And if I do have anything that I can put in front of her, I will in time. But for right now, um, she's fine right there, and I'm fine there. I'm fine her being there. I do want more variegation, um, you know, something like this. This is definitely due to she that leaf definitely grew from being cared from me um i would say you know i think the the longer she stays in this pot because she hasn't really been in this pot that long the longer she stays in this pot the more less i mean the more frequently i would probably water her instead of probably watering her between 10 to 14 days i might be starting to Water her between 9 to 13 or 9 to 12. Um, and also depending on the months of the year. F of course, from what I've noticed, summer and winter is kind of the same for me. And fall and spring is the same. And I do have centralized heat and air. And that is also another reason. For the summer, it is due to the air conditioning, which can dry a lot of things up. And of course, the excess sun. And in the winter, it is definitely due to the heat. And that can dry up. Uh, a lot you know it can dry up the inside of your home the environment itself um we do have an in in-house humidifier but it's not really like the same as being outside in the rainforest or um the tropics you know it's definitely not going to be the same in the fall and in the spring where from what i've noticed is just for me for my area it just um the watering frequency and volume is similar. Summer and winter is the same too. Water frequency and the volume is also similar. So just pay attention to that if you're a new plant parent. Um, and each season is like your each season your plants are declining and they're having problems or you're having problems with them. It's because of that. It's just a change of season. So just pay attention to the season. And once you get the rhythm of it and get used to it, you'll be fine. Um, anyway, so if you guys have any questions, anything to do with this particular plant, you want to chit chat with this particular plant, let me know down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Anything else in the description section, everything is there. And I hope you want to connect. All my social media is in the description section. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell. So you're notified every single time I do upload a new video, as well as an update for this particular baby. Thank you and have a good rest of your day. Bye.